Comparisons are easily done once you have a taste of perfection. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Manny once again, and I was actually in the middle of uh, finishing up a collab video. Although it has nothing to do with that song I just played. Now, what has something to do with that, though, is this video which I'm going to make this right now. I want to do a, a little comparison video involving the shoes which I showed you not so long ago. So these are the Nike Air Horace Scream Green. And I have here the 2021 Red Rose. And my brother actually has the 2014 Red Crow of the same shoe. Now, it's the same exact pair as the one that I have back home in the Philippines. And yeah, it's a perfect timing for me to do this video while they are still clean. My brother uh, rarely uses them or if it's ever been worn at all. Because he's more into Jordans. But uh, every time Nike would release something hot, something iconic, he definitely wouldn't pass on those. Now, which I perfectly understand. I, for myself, I'm not into Jordans. Jordans that much but every time I see something good like this my favorite Jordans of them all the Jordan 11 breads and yeah look Diana it's red bottoms and was also kind enough my brother was kind enough to give me some pairs like this Jordan 6 and once in a while I find great deals from the marketplace I have this the Jordan 1 black toes now let's get things going now Oh uh, yeah, that's a nice idea. Let me just put this aside. Yeah, you, you can stay right beside me, baby. I still love you. Now, uh, looking at their boxes, you can say, I mean, you can see the difference right away. This came with the vintage looking uh, box, while the 2014 came with uh, the uh, generic uh, Nike box. And from this point of view, you can uh, observe, you can uh, compare the window right here, right between the lace beds and the black rubber right here. This has a bigger, a wider window as compared to these 14s right here. And material wise, I don't know if you can uh, see it clearly, for the 21s uh, they used a, a smoother type of a letter, while the 2014s somewhat uh, it looks somewhat like a tumbled letter and either way they looked nice and yeah I think that's it for the side no I, before I forget uh, the spacings between here now the 2014s has a wider gap right between them and also with this black part the uh, 2014s actually kissed the midsole part while the 2021 has a bit of a gap right there so I think that's about it for the side now let me just get one pair from each take the right foot now yeah that that's a that's a good idea now uh, you will always be ha be happy that you, the right one stays the right the right one stay when others just left you get it well yeah um, comparing the shape of the toe box right here uh, the 2021 is a bit sexier right there more pointed and this one's more rounded it's like comparing your your pinky finger and your middle I mean your your index finger right there so that's a good way to compare them and uh, yeah I, I can see right from this angle also that uh, this is a bit uh, slimmer right here for the 14s this black uh, tip right there and yeah um, yeah obviously they changed the uh, patch right here the logo now this replicates the original version the the first releases now a bit of a uh, history right here uh, this design first came out the year 1991 and they made a retro 1999 came the 14s and now the 21s <clears throat> so uh, yeah let, let's uh, go ahead and uh, further see the difference right here let's go from the side which I show you now let's go to the back part right here now you can see the green the colors right here is more vibrant than this it's more screaming and this 
yeah you can't blame you can't blame him because you can't blame blame this one because he's been screaming for seven years now uh it may be uh, true that maybe a, a, a result of oxidation or this uh, discoloration but uh, if that would be the case it shouldn't be that bad you can say you can you can see that this is definitely dimmer than this and same is true with this blue part right here more vibrant uh, vibrant blue for the 21s compared to this 14s so right there I think that's about it for those part for the exterior now for the insoles right here I observe that the Nike Air you know the Nike Air text right there is colored green now the 2014s has them in black I don't know if you can see it yeah the Nike Air logo is in black and let's get to the bottom right here the soles the outsoles now yeah uh this one this part right here the the black surrounded um the, the white part right here the white uh, gap right here as compared to the 21s right here there's a gap right there uh um, it respected the uh, gap while well, right here it enclosed the white part right here and also with the logos right there and just um, um, the placement or yeah the sizes it doesn't matter it's gonna get dirty anyway so I think that's about it let's put it side by side so if, if you uh, could see anything more than that than, than what I observed feel free to comment I would definitely welcome those because I'm not an expert you know and uh, yeah uh, I think that's about it I wouldn't really mind the differences uh, there is or uh, you might not notice them or yeah uh, unless you have the chance to compare them now I might see you wearing the same I mean either one of these shoe and I would still say hey we have the same shoes so that's it it wouldn't matter they both look nice and don't dwell yourself doing comparisons no appreciate what you have on hand and yeah that's about it Nike Air Supreme Green keep on screaming keep on greening